manual transaxle overhaul, differential preload. I will not be taking apart the differential. However, removing the ring gear bolts will remove the ring gear. Removing the pinion pin retaining pin that is located through this hole makes it possible to remove the pinion pin and spider gears. The retaining pin is removed with a pin punch using the hole on the other side. The case bearings can also be removed and replaced. In the lower housing there is a bearing race, spacer, and oil seal. The upper housing is similar with the oil seal, bearing race, spacer, and a selectable preload shim. To adjust the differential preload, the shim behind the bearing race on the upper housing is replaced. The differential bearings must be preloaded and this is measured by measuring the force it takes to rotate the differential. Insert the ring gear into the lower housing. Install the upper housing and the housing bolts. Torque the bolts to specifications. The specifications for this transaxle is 22 foot-pounds. I made my own tool out of a 1 inch wooden dowel rod. On one end I sanded it into a taper. On the other end I threaded a hex head wood screw into the center of the dowel rod. Place the dowel rod through the housing and tap it into the side gear making sure that it is wedged against the pinion shaft. Use an inch-pound dial torque wrench to measure the breakaway rotational force for the differential case. Make sure the ring gear in the case is turning and not just the spider gears by observing the rotation through the axle hole. Notice that I'm being careful to keep everything straight and I'm also trying not to hold the end of the torque wrench or dowel rod with my other hand. My other hand could impact the measured value. This differential case measures 5 inch pounds. The specification is very small, 6.9 to 13.9 inch pounds for new bearings and 4.3 to 8.7 inch pounds for used bearings. Since I have used bearings, my measured value of 5 inch pounds is within specification. If the measured value is not within specification, the shims under the upper housing bearing race need to be changed. A thicker shim will increase the turning force and a thinner shim will decrease the turning force.